Hey guys, my name is Fabian and welcome back to another episode of the Dinosaur Mine. As you can see, I've made quite a bit of progress again. I worked on this like three or four hours yesterday. Uh, but I have some bad news. I'm gonna get sick. Oh, I have this feeling in my throat and whenever I have that, I know, alright, tomorrow I'm gonna have a clogged up nose and throat and I'm not gonna be able to speak very well. Which is why I am recording this um, as soon as I notice that. And I don't know if I can get much progress done. Ah, that's the worst time to get sick, isn't it? Look at that, I even built already a couple of walls up in the, in the center. I think it's gonna be really, really cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and get some stuff done. Um, I, I mean, I already made a bunch of progress, but I feel like it's gonna be boring for you guys sooner or later, because this is a huge project and I can't do it all off camera because it's very, very repetitive. And you guys have seen how I do it. You guys have seen all the things, you guys have seen how I make the inside corners, how I make the outside corners, and that's all the excitement that you get while building it. The rest is just rinse and repeat um, the whole time. So I try to do as much of it off camera as I can, but that also means that I can't really do a lot of other things um, to show in the video. But you know guys, in the long run, it will be worth it, totally. Because, oh man, I can't wait. Can, I, can you already see what's gonna happen here? There's gonna be this huge tunnel and there's gonna be um, skeletons all over in this building. Like the giant dinosaur skeleton and everything, it's gonna be so cool. Alright, but there's one more thing we can do. We got our little mammoth, remember that guy? Oh wait! <laughs> That's what happens whenever I whenever I plan anything. It doesn't go well, does it? Wait, four? Where's number five? I see your mom down there. One, two, three, four. Number five? We had five. We had five, right? Did did one die? One, two, three, four. There's no fifth one, is there? I guess we can come back in with another... Oh, hey mom. <laughs> uh, we can come back with another... Embryo without having to kill one. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Alright, well, at least I don't have to get my hands dirty. That's something. One, wait, one, two, three, four. I'm getting confused, but I'm pretty sure. All right, let's do this. Let's get another embryo going and uh, have another chance for an albino. Um, I hope it wasn't Manfred who died. Let's check that. Because, do you think it was the one that was stuck up here? Because the one that got stuck up here was actually stuck here for most of the time I've been playing in this world. Like for hours and hours he couldn't move out. You're not Manfred. I don't really want to get in there with your mom there. Okay. Oh, she's right there. She's waiting. She is waiting for me. Uh, all right. Let's maybe. Oops. I'm in here now. Wasn't on purpose, but I'm in here now. And she didn't see me. That's good. Are you Manfred? No, you're not Manfred. A second. Are you? No, you're not. One more chance. Hello. Are you not? Did Manfred die? Are you kidding me? Let's double check. Nope. No name on this one. No name on this one. No name on this one. I can't believe it. Why did it have to be Manfred? <laughs> I can't. This was the one that got stuck because it's really at low health. I can't believe that it had to be Manfred who died. That is crazy. That was like a 20% chance and it totally happened. Oh my god. Alright. Are the pigs still around? I haven't seen the pigs in a while. Anyways, let's get out of here. It's getting night time. And we're gonna go back to the lab and grab a fresh embryo. Hopefully this time. 
That was just a tree, right? It looked a little bit like a mammoth there for a second. I, I th already thought, what? What's going on? How did he get there? But nope, just a tree. Uh, yeah, I was hoping I would at least be around when we were going to lose a mammoth to get some more meat that we could um, analyze and get some more DNA from it. Because I don't think we have a lot of embryos left, to be quite honest. Let's check in the freezer. Um, we have still some DNA. I'm gonna shake some already. Let's see if we ha if we put some. Oh, that was the doors. Okay, night time. Um, none in here. Oh, there's one. All right, mammoth embryo. Did we have more, or was that it? Oh, we have plenty more. Two more. Two. Is there another one here? Yeah, we have three more. All right, we don't need to analyze anything right now. With three embryos ready to go, let's leave two of them here. And we're gonna sleep the night away. And then we're gonna go and find ourselves a pig to get it pregnant once more. Alright. I really need to put some more beds up. I should put a bed up at the museum too. I haven't slept a whole lot. Um, I was usually working up on top of the museum, on the roof and stuff. Uh, so mobs don't spawn there when I'm there. And all the mobs were just spawning downstairs and they couldn't bother me while I was up there. So I didn't have too much of a hard time. Oh, I have I shown you the roof? Yeah, you can see it a little bit in the distance. This is gonna be such a dominating building. Oh, I love it. Once it's done completely, you're gonna be able to see it from all kinds of places. That's gonna be so cool, especially with the bigger render distance. Look at that, I love how it's just towering over the trees, over the forest. That is that is the kind of buildings that I like. Um, some of you, or one of you suggested that I should put some leaves along the wall to make it look a little older. And I might do that, it's a good idea, but yeah, this perspective here, throwing over the forest, I love that perspective so much. Uh, yeah, I might do that. I might put some leaves at least on the bottom part. I might have some bushes and leaves covering it up. Look at that! Oh, I'm so happy with that. The roof is only done up to this point there. So I'll have to finish it off all the way. But uh, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Alright, let's see where our pigs are hiding today. I see one. Let's get it before we before we lose it. And pregnancy! That's what you get. Alright, progress is being made. I'm gonna be very careful here. I think I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna bring you guys back in. Although, you know what? I don't even have to bring you guys back in when the mammoth is born. Do I? I mean, it's gonna be... We've seen it a couple of times now and it's gonna be the brown mammoth uh, anyways. We're only gonna see later if it's actually an albino or not. So I guess... I will uh, get back to work. Wait, can I? It should still be loaded, right? Let's take a quick closer look at the at the roof while we're at it, okay? So the front facade is f is finished pretty much. I don't think I'm gonna do much. As I mentioned, probably some bushes and maybe some vines coming up here. Not vines, but leaf vines. And there's already a roof on top here. There's a giant tree in the middle. I'll have to get rid of that. But I use it most of the time just to jump down, um, because if I jump all the way down to the ground, I'll die from fall damage. Uh, good suggestion in the comments, get feather falling boots at least. Of course there were tons of the expected they wear armor comments, but the feather falling boots are actually um, a good idea. I should probably do that. The problem for that is I will need to level up again, and right now I'd rather use my levels to get to try and get some good pickaxes. But once we got a, a, a decent XP farm, I think we're definitely gonna get some feather falling boots. So this is a little bit awkward here. Um, the river goes all the way um, around here. So I couldn't make this wider than it is. I couldn't even go out here because it would be in the middle of the river. So I had to keep it a little more narrow for two tiles. And that makes it that we have only this very, very small three wide um, passageway on all on all floors that we have to go through. So there's gonna be a small part at the three wide, and then we're gonna have uh, be uh, opened up again. I think I think I'm gonna go this route now, and then we are two tiles wide again, which is I think eleven, nine or eleven blocks. I'm not quite sure. 
but this width and this width is I guess pretty good because we can have like a pathway on one side and then uh, the dinosaur skeletons on the other side or maybe the stone tablets and stuff and then we'll just have to make it a small passageway here that continues on. There's just not really a choice that was uh, left to us. Look at Enderman damage. Um, yeah, and I think I'm gonna go in a straight line all the way to the back and then come around and I'm gonna build, I don't think it's gonna be a square, it might be a rectangular shape. Um, that's gonna be what that's gonna be what we have first and then we might add some other wings of the building on like for example I thought about uh, having some sort of a tower here and uh, maybe having some more um, some more stuff back there and this way we can always expand I don't know how many skeletons and how how hard it's gonna be to fill the museum because it is already gonna be huge and there is a lot of stuff that we could put in here so I'm really, really excited to see uh, if we can fill it up. All right, let's take one more quick look at the pig. The pig of pregnancy. And still looks pretty pregnant to me, but that might might just be uh, 34 only. I thought you would be a little further along, but that's okay. You don't come up here. No, 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 no. All right, I'm going to stay around this pig for now because otherwise the pregnancy might vanish again. We don't want that. And then I might get around to do some more work. I just met these two fellers here in the middle of the night. I uh, want to see if maybe some of them want to work as a employee at the museum later on. Anyone? Huh? Oh, we got one volunteer, two volunteers here. Look at him. All right, we gotta, we gotta kill the the competition first, and then we might be able to get these guys a good place where they can live until they can um, attend their job. Let's see, do I have some dirt on me? I do have some dirt on me. Oh man, it's gonna get nighttime soon too. All right, uh, daytime. I mean, um, how about you guys come here? And don't burn up in the process. That would be nice. Where's the moon? I don't see the moon. Uh, yeah, just step right in here. No, no, no. Right in here. Yep, no. Don't turn around. Right in here. Okay, that's not gonna work. These guys are dumb. I guess it's a good thing you don't need a degree to work in a museum. Yeah, yeah. That, no, no. Come. All right. No, that's not it. Can you do it or not? That's my question. All right. How about we do it like this? No. Ahem, <clears throat> mister, just step right in here. Can't be so hard, can it? Okay, you, oh, look at this baby guy. I'm happy he can't get me. All right, this is, this is, this should be easy enough, right? Yeah, that's how we do things. All right, um, block this guy in, number one. Uh, I don't want this little guy to get me. Okay, that works. Um, can you please not just, just leave that? Okay, thanks. Let's get our other friend in here. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Um, let's do it like this. No, no. Um, let's go on the other side. Maybe that helps. Yes, yeah, you got it. All right. Um, we got two employees already saved and locked up for the big grand opening <laughs> later on. And I'm very happy about that. Look at that. That's some, some, good, some good yield we got from this night, isn't it? <laughs> so I just came back from more subway tunnel digging because I ran out of stone again. Uh, that should last us a little while longer, I presume. Let's hope so. Um, but I also, before I went there, I started working on this tunnel layout a little bit. And as you can see, I went with kind of a stripey pattern. So what I wanted to go for is the arch is basically made out of limestone, but there is some some normal stone, uh, some stone brick supports, uh, struts, I guess, that go on, and I think it looks pretty decent. We have another stabilization arc in the center here, so this is the same width of the tile that we have also going on outside here. So it should fit in uh, pretty nicely. I ran out of stone, so I couldn't finish it off completely. Uh, but you know what, let's do this now. I have my stuff ready. 
and uh, <laughs> my sickness is progressing rapidly. I can really already notice it over my throat. So this might be a little bit of a shorter episode um, to rest my throat a little bit more. And also, if I really should get sick, um, I'm not sure if there's gonna be an episode on Saturday. Just so you guys are warned, if I really should get sick, my voice might be gone and I won't be able to record on Saturday. So if an episode is missing, you know what's up. But yeah, I think that looks quite nice. I think I can go with it. Of course, we need to implement some lighting, which is especially noticeable during nighttime now. But overall, I think it's a decent design. So I'm gonna replicate this on this side here. And I think that we then we might already have to call it an episode for today. By the way, I saw, well, we saw the mammoth getting born. Let's quickly check. I don't know how much time has passed, but maybe it's already grown up. Um, what does the cat count say? I count one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. It already grew up and once again, no luck. Just another brown one. Hmm. <laughs> we might have to revise this plan again. Oh, by the way, some people suggested that uh, the, the albino mammoths only spawn in the snow biome. And I can say, nope, that's not the case, because all the snow that's in here is manually placed. We don't have any snow biome here. And second of all, we already had an albino mammoth in there without the snow biome. So I don't think that is related in any way. I'm pretty sure it's just a chance of getting it. So we're gonna keep trying and maybe one day we're gonna have some luck again. All right, here we are. It's all done, at least a tunnel. Um, floor still not there. I don't know what kind of block I want to use for that yet. Uh, we'll have to think about it once we got the whole courtyard done. But look at that. I think it's cool. It gives another another step of completion, another feeling um, for this. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's a little bit of a shorter episode. Hope you didn't mind. And I uh, hope I hope I really hope to see you again on Saturday. It not only depends on you this time, but also on my health. Um, anyways, enough complaining for today. Uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, have a nice day. And seriously, guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.